Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with July 21st, the Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. I uh, hope y'all are having a great week. Uh, it's Wednesday. Let's do today's problem, Push Dominoes. Uh, I usually start these live, so if it's a little bit slow, fast forward, do whatever you need to do. Um, the reason why is so that, you know, you could see someone make an attempt at the solution and the thought process go, uh, that goes with it, right? Anyway, okay, let's see. Mm, the end dominoes up right, push to the left or the right. Okay. Mm, I feel like I've seen a similar problem, but with cows or something like that. I could be wrong. The first dominoes and those. Oh, maybe not. not. Mm. Okay, maybe this, but mm. when a vertical has dominoes. Okay, so that's this is what I'm looking for. Even though I read it backwards, which is that you know if one has three things pushing to the left and two things pushing to the right, you know which way does it go? Um, so I think this one is pretty okay. It's just about a simulation and just. Being careful about stuff. Um, so the for these problems, one thing, or just problems in general, maybe uh, one thing that I would think about is just thinking about backwards. And here, I think the intuition is to look at each domino and then push it, say, and then kind of see where it goes. Um, I think the other way of thinking about it is okay. Given every domino, what forces is is being done to this domino, right? For example, here I go. Okay, um, how many do uh, is there? A domino pushing from the left, and is there a domino pushing from the right? Um, and I think that's maybe a good idea enough to go. Um, yeah, let's take a look at n. So n is ten to the fifth. So we cannot do anything n square. So we have to do something well of n, right? Um, let's see. How do I clean up my thinking? I and mean, I think the idea is so. Um, yeah, yeah, this example, okay. So let's say we have mm, this one, right? So then we have to take a look at the, so in the, here in this case, I was gonna say something about the closest, but it's not even the closest, right? Mm, actually, no, it may be the closest because if there's a close one to the left, then one second later, then it's closest to the right, right? Or if this one from the left, then it's, you know, for example, this one, oops, the one next to it will have forces to the left. So then now, in that case, it becomes a, um, you look to the left to see, to get the first right. And then you look to the right to see the first left. Um, and then that distance, and you take the minimization or something, uh, to get to see who gets first, and then there's some rules about, you know, like obviously if you, uh, if you're here, you're not gonna look at the right, right? Because then that means that there's no force impending on it, and then, and of course, if you do it for every block, it's gonna be n squared. So then the the question is, how do you reverse thinking about that, and then think about, um and then building them as you go from left to right, or and then right to left for the other one, right? So for example, here, you just go from left to right, you hit the right, so then now you can throw this as one, two, three, and then you hit the left, so then now it resets back to zero, uh, and then this back to zero, and so forth. I think that should be good enough, so let's let's type that out. Um, yeah, so, so mm, right distance maybe, right D, for the, mm, yeah, let's just do right distance, as you go to, Let's just say infinity times n, n is equal to the length of the dominoes. Infinity is equal to some big number, it doesn't really matter. I, that's what I always play. Um, mm, your mileage may vary. Also, hope everyone enjoyed the cameo from yesterday's prom. Uh, <laughs> probably not going to get one today, uh, sleeping right now. But, but yeah, uh, okay. And then we also want the left distance for you know, symmetry reasons, but just in general. So then now we cascade what we said, right? So right is going to, 
um, almost, I guess another way to think about it is the time that this block would um, impact a certain block, right? Because here, it would be at zero seconds, well, you're already putting a force on it. Here, next to it, you have, um, let me actually put this here so I could have an easier uh, highlighting. But yeah, here, that would have impact at second one. This would be at the second two, second, uh, third second, and so forth, right? So that's basically the idea. So yeah, now we go from index from range from left to right. And then here, current is equal to Z. No, current is equal to infinity. And then, yeah, if dominoes of index is equal to right, then we get to reset, right? Um, and then otherwise, else, uh, right distance is equal of index is equal to current. Uh, I guess technically it could go over infinity, but um, because we start at infinity, but we can maybe probably adjust that later. And then now we want to do it for the left side. But these are things that you know you have to think about. Though sometimes I think about it and then forget. But because otherwise you may have weird cases. Um, but these are things just to take note. And actually, I did this incorrectly. Sorry, friends. Uh, this should be backwards because you are going from right to left uh, with the same symmetry reasons. But I think I just mentally copy and paste. So um, hmm. so here is just yeah. And then now, um, yeah, and then now answer is equal to, and I just call it that, right, for index, then answer dot append, let's say if right distance of index is Let's see if this is closer, then we want to do a right else if this put the other direction, we want to do a left. And then else if they decode, then you just append a period. I think that should be good. Let's give it a spin. And we know that this is linear time because we just do three for loops, right? Um, of course, it would be helpful if you get the right answer. Then we distance the distances. Hmm, where am I getting it wrong? Oh, whoops. Okay. Oh, uh, I messed up with respect to... Oh, I think... Eh. Well, one thing is that... Uh, yeah, we want to do this, and that's fine, that's easy. But I actually made a mistake with respect to what I said. Um, I think I actually pointed this out as I was going, but then I forgot which is that. For example, here, this period, there's no force imp uh, impacting it, but but because I have an L um, here, it thinks that this is five distance away, or something like that, even though it should be infinity. So we, should, we have to uh, do something I have to add in another if statement. Um, yeah, and then I have to do the, the opposite. Oops. And then I think that should be good. Just have to be careful and make sure you get all the cases. Uh, I was a little bit sloppy. Uh, and I think I'm maybe even additionally sloppy. Hmm. Oh no, actually this is where we said earlier, um, this is where we said earlier uh, the infinity thing. So I guess we took a note about it, but then we didn't do anything about it. But the reason is because now some numbers are infinity and some numbers are infinity plus one or something, right? So that's basically it. Um, okay. So I think there is an easy fix, but you just have to kind of do it. Uh, yeah. Uh, sloppy. This code is getting ugly. 
I think one way that you can clean this up is just um, put these in a one function so you could dry yourself and dry meaning do not repeat yourself um, so you can kind of do that really quickly and then you know maybe you just go one direction for dominoes and then just reverse the direction and then do it again there are a couple of ways to do it but yeah but now you know it looks okay do I have any other case I don't think so to be honest But, I mean, I think these are like weird-ish cases, but otherwise, I think with Gucci, I'm just looking at the, I think, mean, yeah, I was looking to see if there's a zero case, but I don't even think that matters. So let's give it a submit. Hopefully, it looks okay. Yep. Uh, yeah. And as you can see, even though this code could use a little cleanup, to be frank, uh, at the very least, what we said, and put this in a function, and then we use code in a clean way. Um, yeah, you can easily see that this is linear time here, linear time here, linear time here. So we use linear time and linear space, and which is unless you want to make some argument about some in place stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be lower bound because that's the size of the output. Um, you can also do some output sensitive analysis if you like, but. But that's where my journey ends. Uh, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, yeah, I will see you all later. Have a great day and yeah, stay good, stay cool. To good mental health. Bye bye.